Hi guys, this is Jess Marie coming to you with the Invisible Ponytail tutorial. Here's all the products that I used on my daughter Ayana's hair. Okay, so her hair here is freshly washed. I just got done washing it, so. We're gonna put on the wrapping lotion and that just tames the edges and makes for a sleeker look. Just adding a little more of the foaming lotion on her edges and throughout her hair. Okay, so here's her hair freshly blown out. I blow, I blew her hair out very straight just so her edges can look more sleek and it can lay down nicer. So I blew out her hair and I made sure I paid a lot of attention to her edges when I blew it out. So you can just see that her edges is pretty straight. And here I'm putting in some silk elements. That is, um, the silk elements is a um, thermal protectant. That's what I use on her hair before I put any type of hot tools on her hair. It just helps to protect her hair from the heat. And it also gives it a soft feel and a little bit of shine as well. So I flat ironed her hair and now I'm brushing it here. So when I flat iron her hair, I just did her edges. I didn't do it throughout her hair. So now I'm just brushing it and making sure it's all tamed and all the flyaways and everything is, is um, laid down. Now here I am brushing out her edges to just give her some baby hair. I'm gonna gel those down once I get done with her ponytail. So here's, here I am again, brushing it up into a ponytail, trying to figure out if she wants her ponytail lower or if she wants it higher. And she usually likes to wear her ponytails pretty high. So of course she said she wanted it higher up on her head. So here I am, I'm putting some jam in between each section and that's just to give make the hair lay down better so you'll just see me just taking pardons and throughout the hair just adding the um, the jam to her hair paying close attention to her her scalp area or her roots rather Cause that's the that's the part where I did not flat iron, so I want to make sure it lays down nice and it's not lumpy or or have any bumpy areas in it. And I'm just continuing the jam throughout and brushing it down, making sure everything is going to fit into the ponytail and lay down really nicely. So here is my edge control Just Marie hair collections which it, the name is going to definitely change. That is my um my new edge control. It's not available to the public yet. I'm still working on it. It's still in production right now and um it won't be available till late 2018. So but the edge control is really nice. It holds the edges down very nicely. Gives it a look as if it's almost relaxed hair. It lays down really, really nice. Even if the hair is not blown out, the edge control definitely lays the edges down really, really nice.
I'm just making sure I grab all the little flyaways and all of the hair that is standing up throughout her hair and just make sure it, it has a sleek look and it's definitely looking good and she has to play with it of course she likes her hair in big ponytail so she definitely um, is enjoying that and so here I'm pretty much just spraying some holding spray I use Sebastian um, holding spray on her hair just to make sure that I'm again paying attention to flyaways and make sure that there's no pieces of hair that's not sleek and holding in really nicely now don't spray a lot I try to spray just enough to lay it down but not too much to the point where it's really stiff or anything like that it still looks flexible and it still has it's shine it doesn't look really hard or anything so here I'm spraying or I just got done spraying um, it's Paul Mitchell lavender mint um, spray leave-in spray I sprayed it on her ends and I paid close attention to her ends because I wanted to make sure why she has this ponytail it serves as a protective style as well so spraying the ends um it just pretty much was something that i used to to give her hair a little bit of moisture and and also um treat her hair in in the same the same token while it's up into the braid or it's up into the ponytail and then here i am i actually braided her natural hair first and then i corn roll the weave onto that and like try my hardest to hide her natural hair and that was just to uh, make sure that when I when I'm rolling or when I'm um, using the tracks or using the bundles to wrap around the braid it completely covers up the the weave and it does not touch her natural hair so that's the purpose for me braiding up her hair first and then adding it into the, the braid, the weave. And this is my first time trying out this, this style, so I wasn't too for sure on it. So I want to try a different technique. So here you see me, I'm just putting edge control on her edges and that's the part that I left out for her baby hair. So you just see me putting it on there and smoothing it in and Playing around with it, trying to get those babies' hair laid. <laughs> she likes her baby hairs to be laid. so, And she always likes to have a whole lot of baby hair. So that's why we got so much baby hair action going on on this video. So <laughs> she likes baby hairs. Even when she does her own hair, she um, makes sure she pulls out baby hair and have a whole bunch of baby hair all over her head so she she likes that she actually requested to have a lot of baby hair out there like that so just so you guys know so I got everything laid and of course she got a look in her phone at herself she is just something else so I'm laying her edges down some more Think she's on snapchat so excuse her her phone i mean her tablet all in the background but yeah she's on snapchat and has to look at herself has to oh, she's just something else that is my oldest daughter so i'm putting a little bit of the holding spray onto her edges or her um, baby hair that I just did just to make sure that it holds first before I wrap it and then you hear you see me here wrapping her hair or wrapping wrapping around her edges just to make sure it lays nicely and I'm gonna just keep that on there until I get done with the ponytail just to make sure that while I'm doing her ponytail it pretty much sets her edges and sets all of her um, baby hair that I just left out so you see me here, I am pretty much putting the glue on the tracks. So you want to start off with a small piece and add the glue. And then once you put that small piece on the bottom of the braid, then you want to just continue to add glue and then wrap. And 
and just keep wrapping and add glue. Then you add glue again. And then you wrap. And you just keep on wrapping and adding glue, wrapping and add glue until you get to the top. So you're going to just see me in here wrapping and adding glue. That's pretty much all you have to do in this area. And I actually made her, her ponytail way too thick because I started adding too much hair to the bottom portion of the braid. I was wrapping it way too close. If you want it to be a little bit on the thinner side, then you don't want to wrap it as close. I have it extremely, extremely thick at the bottom. And that's because I added too much hair and wrapped it way too close. So you see me adding or spraying some more of the silk elements. And that's just to straighten out the hair. And the hair she's currently wearing in her head is actually from the Just Marie Hair Collection line. This hair she's had for um, about eight months, almost a year. And so it's really old hair. I just wanted to do something with it to kind of give her something different, new look, and try something out. And so here you see me, um, I actually had to go home because I ran out of hair and I had to go back home to go finish it because it was late and I didn't want to have to run home, get hair and then bring her back to the salon. So you see me in my own um, personal um, salon area at my house doing or finishing her hair. So that's what we're doing here. And I'm going to continue to wrap glue and wrap all the way till I get to the top. And that part that you see left out, that is all of the extensions, the braiding hair. It's none of her hair. And so I just add it all the way to the top. And then once you have that glue on there, you want to hold it, make sure it stays in place, make sure it doesn't move. Then you pull a piece of hair from the bottom of the ponytail. And I was kind of struggling there, but I found it. You find a piece, you wrap it around the ponytail, and then you want to put some holding spray again on that actual piece to make sure that it stays in place and it actually covers up the track that is on that, that ponytail there. And you just keep wrapping and then you make sure you wrap it till it's tightly tucked in there and then you put holding spray on it to make sure it doesn't move. I also put a bobby pin to make sure it didn't move as well. Now you see me just blending the hair because she has two different lengths in her head and I want to just make sure that it, it, it blends right. So here I am just taking the shears and I am blending it. A little bit more holding the spray just to make sure it lays down good. And she gets irritated when I put too much spray in her hair. <laughs> so that's the reason for like the look and why she's looking all nonchalant. Or like she has an attitude or something. That's because she's she's tired of all the spray. So I'm playing around with the hair again here. Making sure the layers are correct. Okay, and here is the finishing look. And that's it. So this is the, the, the finishing look. And this is the ponytail. I added a few curls in it. And yeah. That's all. All right, so here are the pictures of the finishing look. Okay guys, thank you so much for, for watching and rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel.